a few days ago I had a horrible shock. I went to phone a flying friend of mine, uh, someone I've never met in real life but I've exchanged a lot of emails and a lot of happy banter with over you know, the last couple of years and uh, he didn't answer the phone. His cousin did and he had to sadly inform me that Brian, my friend Brian Ford, had passed away which was a horrible, horrible shock. Um, Flanker Tanker, Martin Lee, knew him very, very well. A lot better than me. A lot, lot, lot better than me. And you will have seen his video dedication to Brian and how it absolutely tore Martin to pieces. And it's a hard watch. It really is. Brian was going to be one of the first people that I invited up to Purcell Field. He followed the uh, ins and outs of the purchase story. Oh, there goes a J. <laughs> Beautiful bird. Um, and like I said, he he was going to be one of the first ones I got up here when we've got everything straight. You know, all the grass cuts the right length, all the fence posts out. And now he's never going to be able to do it. And that hurts, that really hurts. Brian, wherever you are, God bless your soul. I'm gonna dedicate this flight to you and you'll always be in my thoughts. Rest in peace, Brian Ford, rest in peace. Good afternoon, you YouTube's you. Here's somebody who's not been on the channel for quite some time. It's Scar's first attempt at getting off the ground at the new field. Now, what you may see is we've still got fence posts, but fence rails have been removed. Uh, quite a bit of the, uh, the fencing. Posts remain. So if this can't get off the ground, before we get to the posts, I've got a very interesting choice to make. Could this be Scar's last ever flight? Let's hope not, YouTube. Here we go. Turn around over there. That's the bit of land I ask the neighbours about. Landing is going to be another story. Yes. Gosh, see how that wind just we took need it to come straight over up. from behind you to land, wouldn't you? Well, yeah. Sophisticated radio. I'm flying on the Futaba T6L Sport. And I've got a kitchen timer attached to it, and it still hasn't actually engaged. Yeah, that's it. 
videos up for four and a half minutes, but okay, there's a lot of. So you probably had about two minutes, two and a half minutes. I'll, uh, when this timer hits four, I'll, uh, I'll bring it in. <clears throat> so considering how blustery it is, uh, I need to think about already think about uh, a landing approach. Speed. Well, the alternative is I just dump it in the long grass. minutes do you want to fly on the battery? If you could take it down in that, just the other side of the post on that short grass, and then yeah. you might. What I could, of course, do is just land with the wind, take it a bit longer, but at least it will get it down in the patch here. So, I think, yeah, I think that's what I'll try for. That's what I'm going to shoot, shoot for. Oops. Quickly, didn't it? Yeah, it did cover. That's because we're coming with the wind. We stopped quite quickly because of the oh, resistance yes, the, on the grass. Yeah. And yeah. Right, let's go and inspect the bird. Here's my um, <laughs> rigged up <laughs> kitchen timer on top of the uh, yeah. on top of here. But I always seem to forget to activate it and I was pressing and prodding and I must have pressed it on then off about three times and it's only recorded 13 seconds. But the plane went up and she came down. <coughs> so there you go YouTube. Scar's first flight at Purcell Field, we'll call it. Thank you Adam, model aviator. Uh, a bit hairy. <laughs> I wish I had a spectrum transmitter for this, but I'm flying on Futaba, so there's no um, expo or anything. It's uh, what you input is reflected in uh, what the aircraft does proportionately, exactly one to one. Um, but she's back. She's done it again. I haven't flown her in ages. Feels good to be back. Hope you enjoyed that YouTube. Um, stay safe. Another PRCA video soon. <laughs> Bye for
me. Bye for me. Okay.